Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today is... Yeah, it's gambling day. But it's not really a gambling, it's today we're actually appreciating some Watcher's Eye Jewels. Because today we're gonna unbox 40 sets of the Samurai's Eye and 10 sets of the Atzeran's Reward, which is a new card that got released in 3.8. And the reason for that is in 3.9, with the upcoming expansion and changes to this whole Atlas system, um, we gonna have Shaper, we gonna have Uber Elder. The question is, how easy will it get to farm those to actually be able to get Watcher's Eye Jewels in that uh, case here, right? I mean, Samurai's Eye is still a, a, a way to get a Watcher's Eye Jewel, same as the Adherence Reward. But basically, Watcher's Eye usually an Uber Elder drop. And in 3.9, we are not going to have as many Uber Elder's Eye, uh, Uber Elder's Eye, yeah. Uber Watcher's Eye is on the market as we used to have in the past couple of leagues. So today, we're going to appreciate the last bunch of cards that we are going to unbox. And today's gambling is brought to you by Mr. Witchcraft Stuff. And he spent about 10,000 Chaos Orbs uh, gathering all these sets. So he paid about 8.4 thousand Chaos for... Uh, the 120 cards of the Samurai's Eye, which is a 70 Chaos uh, per card, and then 20 Chaos per card of the Prismatic uh, Jewel, the Corrupted version of it. So we end up having roughly 10,000 uh, Chaos sp uh, sp spammed, yeah, spent, uh, which is about 65.81 Exalt with today Exalt exchange ratio of 1 to 1. 55. So uh, this is kind of a gambling, but not really a gambling because today we're not going to make any kind of price predictions. Uh, it's roughly one league until uh, one week until this league here will shut down and everything will get into standard. And in probably like 13 days or so, 14 days, we're going to have 3.9 launching. So whatever Watchers Eye we're going to get, even if it's tri uh, triple hatred or something, I don't think that anybody in the current league will buy it so it will most likely move into standard and standard has different prices and the league has different prices especially now we are almost three months into the league so there is only a, a small percentage of the player base actually playing the game still so that's why we're just gonna enjoy unboxing these probably talk a little bit about the watcher's eyes and then we're gonna skip all the price calculations and i would say uh we're gonna first Take a look at this card here. So it's called the Atsurance Reward. So let me, let me take a look. Let's pull up the wiki here. Um, so it got released in 3.8. And the question is, what well, I'm not sure, the Prismatic Jewel. Is the Watcher's Eye the only Prismatic Jewel that you can get or not? So the Anima Stone, as you see here, is also a Prismatic Jewel. So it's probably two outcomes here. So we're going to see... If we're going to get a, a bunch like 10 times the Anima Stone or if we're actually getting Watcher's Eye, is it 2 modded, is it 3 modded? I would say let's start with these jewels right away and then we're going to take a look at the 40 set of the Samurai's Eye. So, perfect. First one, it's a Watcher's Eye with corrupted 1% mana reservation, vitality increased life recovery from flasks. This is actually garbage. Next one is... 10% increased global critic strike chance, that's really nice. And then we have Salad Tree and Malevolence with the unaffected by poison and consecrated ground uh, linger for two more seconds. Not really that valuable, sadly. Next one is energy shield gained for each enemy by discipline and damage penetrates by wrath with minions deal increased damage. So I don't think that the discipline and wrath counts towards minions too much, but discipline and wrath is something that goes very well to uh, together. I see this one in a ball lightning build or something. So this is actually worth something quite a lot actually, I would I would assume. Then we have the anima stone with corrupted blood. And here I'm actually a little bit uh, wondering what could that bring cause 3.8 is summon a league, right? So we have the Anima Stone that is currently going for about 75, like more like 100 chaos with the current state. So if we're gonna get this one, Corrupted Blood cannot be inflicted to you. There is actually two in the market starting by three exalts and one is unlisted if we check anything. So there might be a lot more here, but this is listed eight days ago, five days ago, 20 days. So probably between two and three exalts uh, for this one. And I, I think... The Corrupted Blood is not even bad. In the other hand, in the other hand, 
Um, this is a golem mentalist, or at least a golem um, jewel here, right? And I don't think that if your golems hit something that you are getting corrupted blood. So in that case, it might actually be completely useless, unless it counts for your golems as well. So the next, Anima Stone with a 7% increased effect of non-damaging ailments is not that great. 5% increased air effect, always juicy. Then we have Cannot Be Cursed with Silence, this time around the Prismatic Jewel. Um, while affected by haste and frostbite by purity of ice is uh, not that great, to be honest. Then 1% reduced mana reserve. This is definitely worth something. Then we have 1% mana reduced. Then we have physical damage taken as lightning damage by purity of elements and the mana recovery by clarity. Yeah. And another animal stone with 5%. Well, minions deal 5% increased damage is actually good, because this counts towards your golem. So this is actually really pock here. So we have the first 10 unboxed. We had uh, 5 Anima Stones and 5 times the Watcher's Eye. So it's probably a 50-50%, but I think 10 uh, cards is just a too low... Uh, pfft, how you call it? Oh god, the English language barrier hits once more. Uh, 10 examples is just too few to say it's a 50-50% chance in... in general right all right i would say up on the next uh one row here one and a bit rows uh for the watcher's eyes so i'm looking forward to that one we have uh purity of elements and purity of lightning unaffected that's not that great i want to hit like something really good uh two additional pride and unaffected by poison so definitely the pride mod that was like 10 exalts last leak in 3.7, nowadays in the melee, uh, in the uh, summoner meta, it's not really that valuable anymore. Anger fire damage, vitality, live region. This is something nice uh, for leveling righteous fire, for example. Um, then we have fist damage reduction by determination and purity of lightning. <laughs> That's bad. Then we have an um, MOM clarity and impale on pride. This is completely garbage. Because the chance of impale is so high, even if you take the impale clusters like on my character, you have this impale cluster, you have this impale cluster, you're running an impale support, so you already have like 100% chance to impale, which is easy to hit these days uh, after the changes. So a chance to impale is garbage in my opinion. And is by far uh, the worst pride mod. Then we have Salad Tree and Clarity um, with the mana gain and damage penetration, probably a little bit. Uh, determination clarity garbage then we have the um this is extra fire by anger is not bad and arcane search by cellar tree but most of the jewels are just like mediocre something like that so double damage by pride and mom by clarity not too bad either then we have haste and purity of light that's completely garbage so we have discipline increased energy shield recovery rate this is actually pretty nice to have the second mod was useless then we have Grace Dodge and Anger Fire Damage, not really good. Then we have Anger Crit Multiplier and Flask Charge by Precision. This is something that is definitely nice to have. Because um, if you use Precision, you usually use that on level 1. I think I have that too somewhere. Precision, I mean, mine is a little bit higher here. But usually you, you use this one on level 1, so you get the 40% increased global crit strike chance. And with that, with the Anger Multiplier, you have a, a general nice um, sustain here on the crit damage. And you also get the crit charges, uh, the flask charges when you crit, which then you... This makes you basically a flask finder because the more you crit, especially if you have a lot of attack speed, like my build has like sometimes more than 20 attacks per second. And every time you crit, you get a flask charge back. This is kind of insane. Then we have Hatred, Cold Damage and Pride, Double Damage, not too valuable at all, sadly. We want to have the Hatred crit or something like that. Hatred, Cold Pen is also really nice. Uh, but it's not melee meta anymore, so the chance to deal double damage used to be quite worth a lot, but not anymore. Then we have Salad Tree, increased crit strikes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Salad Tree, crit strike chance. Oh god, these words, dude. And faster start of energy shield recharge. Well, by discipline. So discipline is always nice to have these mods. Then we have chaos resistance, uh, crit strike chance, and lightning damage by wrath. Nah. I would like to have the crit strike chance by Wrath rather than the uh, consecrated ground by Cellar Tree with the crit strike chance. But yeah, these are the first ones. Sadly, as far as I see, nothing too crazy over here. I think the best one so far was the Wrath and Discipline. This one should be the most valuable one that we have yet. But we still have like 24 more to go. So we're going to check these ones out now. We have Determination, Cellar Tree and Anger. Garbage. 
Next one, Clarity, MOM with haste phasing. Mm, probably not that valuable. I mean, obviously you can use this uh, Watcher's Eye on certain builds, but the question is, what is meta? What is worth a lot? And these jewels are not worth a lot. So price, chance to impale, garbage. And here we have the cold penetration by hatred. This is always a stat that sells for like two, three exalts, depending on the state of the league. Then we have purity of elements, purity of lightning, complete uh, garbage. Next one, wrath and cellar tree. With fist converted to lightning damage and crit strike chance by cellar tree. Uh, that has to be something. Hmm. Fist conversion. Fist conversion to lightning. Probably some eternity shroud builds, to be honest. Blade Vortex, for example, or any other melee skill that you can uh, use a Fist to Lightning. Then plus the Gloves Craft, where you can hit the uh, Fist's, uh, Fist Converted to Lightning, so you get 100%, which is quite nice as well. The Purity of Elements and Anger Fire Penetration, not too valuable. Uh, then we have Grace and Purity of Ice, Complete Garbage, and Wrath, Vitality, Life Gain on Hit, and Increased Crit Strike Chance. Um, I, don't, I personally don't know a build that would use Wrath and Vitality together. Wrath is more like, uh, yeah, it goes better with Discipline. So, Precision cannot be blinded, and Fire Damage by Anger is kind of useless. Then we have Grace, Dodge, and Lightning Damage by Wrath, not too valuable. Uh, Vitality, Damage, Leech's Life, and Anger, Fire Damage. It's a double Leech. Anger and Vitality, Leech. I think, personally, if you know how Leech works, right, you have, like, you, you make a hit... And based on your uh, maximum life, like 20% of your maximum life is the cap that you can leech. So even if you hit for a billion damage, you cannot leech more than your cap. Unless you're like Slayer with the overkill damage, blah, blah, blah. I know that. But that's why I, th I think like on a certain level of damage, it's super easy to, to uh, get your leech cap going. So a double leech is, for my personal opinion kind of useless like one leech uh, mechanic with a fire damage leeched or the damage leeches live by, by vitality is fair enough um that impale two and in unaffected by bleeding um i'm a mellow valence i think not really used together because the pride the impale is actually just a pure fist build like i'm playing what do i need mellow valence for even if you say yeah it could be a bleeding pride uh build but then still you're focusing on one part. Either you focus on your on-hit damage or you focus on the damage over time. If you focus on the bleeding damage, you don't need impale last two additional hits. And if you go for impale, then you don't need bleeding. That's a simple fact. Fate awaits you. So, from my perspective, nothing too special here as well. But we have 12 more to go. And we're gonna see. So, Navali. Give me something. Hatred, crit, vitality, life, recovery rate, and damage penetration by wrath. Hmm, all, all three stats are actually good. Life recovery rate is, is the best vitality mod, in my opinion, because the other one is the life recovery rate for flasks. This is kind of useless. This is globally for any kind of juggernaut build. Hatred crit, always nice to have, and damage pen by Wrath. The problem is hatred is the cold version uh, of uh, Auras, then Wrath is the lightning. Both have 50% mana reservation. So three good stats and one jewel, which are not combined together, I guess. Then we have Cellar Tree. Total recovery per second from Energy Shield is super nice. And Wrath, this is also very juicy. And this would sell for quite some currency. Then we have Increased Damage by Cellar Tree and Clarity. Mana recovery rate is kind of garbage. Then we have Determination Precision. Yeah, the Precision mod alone sells for a bit because it's super easy to get a level 1 Precision for like... I think they, they result like 12 mana or something or 20 if it's... Uh, it's not a lot, and you get a free 40, uh, up to 50% multiplier, which is super nice to boost your damage. Then we have Clarity, Recovery, and Ellie Weakness. This is kind of garbage. Then we have Vitality, Life Recovery Rate. Pretty nice to have. Purity of Elements, taking as cold damage is not too bad either. But this is kind of a niche item, and therefore wouldn't sell for much. Then we have Lightning, uh, Cooldown Recovery of Movement Skills, and non channeling Skills of minus 6 mana cost. Clarity with it. I mean, Clarity is the same with Precision. You can put that in as easy as that, you know? Like, it's it's not like a big of effort to get a Clarity in. But the non-channeling skills, this is kind of garbage since they switched it about uh, just because of the Legion League. Remember when everybody was using rings and amulet with minus mana cost of, uh, of skills? So we all had the Cyclone for free. That's why they changed it. And now it's non-channeling skills that it can get up to, I think, 9... 
All right, and the, on the watches I tell 10, but I, on the craft, I'm, I'm not sure. I think six or nine. And the channeling skills is three. So if your cyclone has nine mana cost, you need both rings and the amulet to actually make it for free. So, critical strike chance by Wrath and purity of ice, frostbite as a standalone on the Wrath. Then we have determination, precision, kind of garbage. The last three are purity of lightning, completely garbage. A little bit money for the damage pen on Wrath, but not as much as the hatred pen. Uh, then Fizz taking as lightning damage and purity of lightning. This is a double purity of lightning, but how many builds do actually use a purity of lightning, if we're honest? So, precision, attack speed, and clarity max ES. This is pro this is definitely worth something, just because of the clarity mod. Um, and the attack speed, probably not, because if you're using clarity mana mod, you're an energy shield build. Most energy shield builds are actually... Um, how you call it, are casters. I could see this one maybe on a Hand of Wisdom and Action build, like where you go like CI and scale energy shield and then uh, you have an attack with lightning damage based. This is something that could probably use that one, but I'm not really sure about that. So, if we count that together, I personally would say um, this one is quite nice for the three mods, but actually just the hatreds are not too valuable. This one is pretty nice, and this one I could see as well. So those three, probably worth, in my assumption, maybe like, I don't know, like 30x for all together, maybe 40, depending on the market and on the state. So... From my personal opinion, I don't think that we would have enough currency to win the gambling. But it, it would be kind of close if you... There's a lot of those jewels that were worth like an exalt or something. This is definitely a little bit more because of the hatred. I, I think hatred crit jewels used to go for like 4 to 5 exalts. So maybe even closer. Maybe altogether all probably about 50 exalts just from my personal prediction on a usual price market. So... Nothing too special. Sadly, no watchers I that I would say is worth a mirror or more. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the last time, or ho hopefully not the last time, but this time around in 3.8, definitely in Blight League, the last time we are doing uh, some nice watchers eyes. And uh, yeah, sorry for not making any direct price calculations, but as you can imagine, end of league, all prices are ruined. Nobody's playing anymore. Uh, it's hard to sell anything that is worth more than a couple uh, exalts, so it's not really too easy to get going. But therefore, we still had to check uh, what we can get here, and we found out about this new uh, divination card here uh, with the Edo Watcher's Eye or the Prismatic Jewel. So guys, again, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.